Hey guys, welcome to 2019 Buckeye Games. Let's do a little quick walkthrough. All right, once you make it in here, there'll be a desk here where you'll check where you'll check in with your uh, judges and they'll give you a box and all that stuff that you did for signing up. Um, this room actually will be our briefing for the amphibian workout. So you'll be briefed in here and then we'll walk out that door and we'll actually do a walk down through the full um, stage through there and let's go in through here. This is our yoga room, our mobility room. This is where the briefing will be um, for the bike and burn workout. And then lastly, this is our child care room. This is where our briefing will be for the Buckeye Chipper. And we ask that you guys show up at least 10 minutes before you eat. Come in here with your team um, and hang out or individually and hang out. Um, be ready to be briefed on the next workout, get any last second questions answered. So when we get out on the floor, we're ready to go. After you've been briefed, your head judge will meet you and we'll walk through this door and we'll all come out on the competition floor. We're gonna take a quick look at each one of the setups and we'll go through some flow things after we look at the setups. On this side of the gym, we'll have bike and burn. On this side of the gym, we'll have the Buckeye Chipper. And then outside in the beautiful sun, we will have amphibian. Alrighty guys, then out back here, uh, you guys will see it in the morning, this will be our warm up area, we have barbells and weights, we'll have a couple machines out here for you guys to get loose before your heats. Remember, 10 minutes before your heat, get to your assigned locations for your briefings. Um, if you're the head, if you're the captain of your team, make sure you round your whole team up and get them in there so we get any questions answered before the workout starts. Alright guys, so here's your setup for Amphibian. You'll have your rower here, in front of your rower you'll have your mat where you'll do your sandbag squats. Um, and then also, if you take a look down at the other end of the parking lot, there is an orange cone next to that blue Jeep. Um, once, you guys, once you guys complete um, all your sandbag squats, you'll need to do three laps all the way down and around the cone, all three team members, okay? Um, and what we're looking for is for all three guys um, to complete the run, one guy carrying the bag, okay? So just picture like an Indian run, the guy with the bag's gonna be out in front, and you complete your down and backs like that. So down at that end, you need to run around the cone, down at this end, everybody needs to step on the mat, okay? So all three team members step on the mat, all three team members uh, run around the cone. So first round is three down and back, second round is two, and then last round is just one down and back and finish. Um, for individuals, you'll row here, you'll have your jump rope already sitting out in front um, on the mat here, and then you'll have a barbell off to the side that you will roll on, and it'll stay um, this direction, okay? So my barbell's sitting here, I'll grab my bar, I'll roll it on, I'll put it right in the center here, and I'll do my burpees, chest and thighs to the floor, jump over um, for my 100 reps there. Alrighty guys, here's our setup for the bike and burn workout. In this lane, you will have your bike, you'll have your space for your gain stand hold, and then you also have your barbell. At the start of the workout, your barbell will start off to the side. Three, two, one, go. You guys have 90 seconds to hold a max handstand hold within the square, okay? Five second increments only, okay? So if you hold it for nine seconds, it counts as five. If you hold it for 14 seconds after that, it still only counts as 10, okay? So you'll add these up for 90 seconds. At 90 seconds, the clock keeps rolling. You'll move over to the bike. The bike immediately starts at two minutes, okay? For both individuals and for teams. Um, a couple quick things about this handstand hold. I am testing if you can do a handstand within this box. If your hands at any time leave the box or your feet come down, the time stops, you need to flip down and restart. What I don't want you to do is flip up, hold it for four or five seconds, and then step out, and then bring a hand back in. That's not good. As soon as your hand comes out, you're dead. You gotta restart, okay? Also, I don't want you flipping up outside the box, then handstand walking into the box. Okay, we're specifically just testing a handstand hold, okay? Alrighty guys, lastly, the Buckeye Chipper setup. What you'll have in your lanes here, you'll have your box, 
You'll also have whatever specific weight you need to use on the dumbbell. It'll be out in your lane already, okay? So if I'm a, uh, if I'm a high gear male or um, elite male, I'll have my 50 pound dumbbell out here. The box will be set to 24 inches. All the other weights and stuff are also gonna be in your lane, but they'll be out of your way, okay? Uh, three, two, one, go. Um, also, your handstand push-up box will be against the wall in that lane. Where you're gonna do your pull-ups or your bar muscle-ups at, that's gonna be up to you, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to do when you come out for this workout is I want everybody to go where they're gonna do their pull-ups. It needs to be somewhere within your lane, okay? I can't have you guys doing synchronized um, toes to bar, one guy down there, one guy down here, okay? We need to try to use the same bar or at least in the same vicinity so we can easily judge those movements, okay? Um, yeah, so you have your box here, your weight here, handstand push-ups against the wall over there. Um, two boxes next to you, they're all color-coded. So the boxes are color-coded where you're going to be doing your handstand holds or your handstand push-ups um, for teams. Um, and also, uh, I think that's it. And lastly, guys, I just wanted to add this. Number one, thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting um, our competitions as usual. And also, I want you guys to um, be very thankful to all your judges um, and also other people helping run the event. They are 100% volunteers, um, and they're there to support you as well. So, guys, get some rest. We'll see you in the morning.